hello. So now I'm going to teach you guys about the Pythagorean theorem. So Pythagoras was a, a mathematician and he discovered this theorem that, well, it's not really a theory, it's actually pretty, um, it's almost a fact. It is a fact. Um, but it's so simple yet so amazing. What he said was that uh, for side A, we're calling it here, sorry, I'll, for side A here, uh, side A squared side t plus by side B squared equals side C squared. It isn't that complicated, but it is amazing. So pretty much if you think about it, uh, this is side A right here. And when it's squared, this is the amount, and this is the amount, and this is side B, and when it's squared, this is the amount, and the area of these two combined together is the area of C's er C squared's area, which is pretty unbelievable if you think about it. So I'll give you an example to prove that this is true. Um, so here's a and by the way this only applies to a right angle triangle so let's say you've got a, uh, the triangle which has the sides which has the sides three four and five so three squared will equal nine uh, We'll just draw our square. That's nine. And this is four. And this will be a bit bigger. Because it's squared will have be sixteen. And five squared, not much of a square, will be twenty-five. Now think about this, 9 plus by 16 is 25. How amazing is that? One side squared plus the other side squared equals the hypotenuse of side squared. Sorry, that's what this is called. This side is called the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse of side squared, which is really amazing. So what this enables us to do is to find different uh, let's say you know two sides of a triangle, you can find the third. So I'll give you a problem now. So I'll wait a second. So let's go with green. So let's say I had the triangle like so. This is the right angle. And this is, I don't know, four, and this is uh, six. I'm not sure. Anyway, so we need to find out what this is. Well, we know that, and this is going to be side A, side B, and this always has to be side C. This can be B, this can be A, but the side opposite to the right angle always has to be C. Now, well, what's A squared? 16. What's B squared? 36. And that must equal C squared. So what's 16 plus by 36? Well, doing our addition, that's 52. I'm pretty sure. It would be bad if I got that one wrong. Uh, and that equals C squared. Now, we want to find C, not C squared. So if we want to know this, what this side is, it is C equals the square root of 52. And getting, making, simplifying that, what goes into that? Uh, 2 square root 13. That's it. So that is what C is. So this side is... 2 square root 13. 
Um, so there you are. You have found out through the Pythagorean theorem uh, what one side is um, when you only knew two. Well done, everyone, and have a good one.